Hello. In this video, we see how exchange rate is determined. The exchange is uh, exchange rate is determined at the equilibrium level. So, flexible exchange rate is determined by the intersection of the forces of demand and supply of foreign exchange. So, the equilibrium exchange rate is determined at a level where demand for foreign exchange is equal to the supply of foreign exchange. Look at the diagram. You can see the demand and supply of foreign exchange is marked on x-axis and the rate of foreign exchange that is rise of price of dollar in terms of rupee is marked in y-axis. DD is the demand curve which is sloping downward and SS is a supply curve of foreign exchange which slopes upwards. Both demand and supply curves intersect at point T. E. That is the equilibrium point. So equilibrium exchange rate is determined at OR. And the equilibrium quantity is determined at OQ. This is the equilibrium foreign exchange rate OR. And this is the OQ where the equilibrium quantity is determined. So at OR you have you find OQ is the demand and supply. This is the pointy where they intersect demand curve and supply curve of foreign exchange intersect at each other. Now there are changes taking place. If the exchange rate rises from O R2 here you find the demand for foreign exchange falls to Q2 the, the price of dollar or the rate of foreign exchange increases to R2 that is OR2 you find the demand for foreign exchange falls to OQ2 OQ2 and the supply will rise to OQ1 you can see the dotted lines so the supply is increased to OQ1 so you find this is the excess supply of foreign exchange so what happens this at this situation the exchange rate should fall to R again to make a equilibrium level. So this is the excess supply. So this is the price rate. So at this situation when you have excess supply of curve again it has to be brought down to the equilibrium level R. If Exchange rate falls to R1, that is OR1. The demand will rise to OQ1. See this dotted line. Earlier you saw the other dotted line. Now you look at this dotted line. At OR1 you find the demand goes to increases to OQ1 and supply falls to OQ2. So here you find the excess demand. Between Q2 and Q1 you find the excess demand. So this will push up the exchange rate till it reaches OR. Because that is the equilibrium level. So when it comes down you find it pushes the rate or foreign exchange upwards. 
so this is how the changes take place in foreign exchange rate.